And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. Those words are from the beginning of our first reading today from the prophet Malachi. Today is the feast of the presentation of the Lord. The child Jesus is now 40 days old. He arrives at the temple in the arms of his mother Mary. And this ceremony is rooted in ancient Judaism, going back as far as the time of Moses. The presentation essentially had two purposes. The first was to return a new mother to a clean or purified state after the usual uncleanness following childbirth. Of course, Mary, Our Lady, did not need this pur purification because she was a virgin before, during, and after the birth of Jesus. But she underwent it anyway to fulfill the law. At the presentation, if the family could afford it, they would offer her the sacrifice of a one-year-old lamb. But if they could not afford a lamb, they, like Mary and Joseph did, would offer a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Most people would see the second purpose of the presentation as being more important. Because not only would the mother come to the temple to be purified, but if the child was a firstborn male, the parents would consecrate him to God, essentially offer him as a gift to God. This was a very special offering at the temple, which, like our sacrament of baptism, would never be repeated. Of course, the parents would not actually give their son's life away. The two turtle doves would act as a substitute offering, a means of basically buying back their son. Of course, for us Christians, this is how we essentially see Jesus, as someone who took our place and offered himself to God instead for our sins. And 33 years later, he would do just that, making the supreme offering of himself on the cross outside the city of Jerusalem on Calvary. Today's feast is an open invitation for us to renew our dedication to the Lord. You know, we often hear on TV that America is a generous country, especially after some great tragedy or disaster that takes place somewhere in the world, like the terrorist attacks on our country on 9-11 or the horrendous earthquake in Haiti some years ago. When those things happen, relief always pours in from the people of the United States, sometimes in the form of money and supplies, but also through actual people coming to the rescue, medical personnel, crisis counselors, firefighters and police officers and other first responders, as well as clergy members. The response to these tragedies comes almost immediately and without any coaxing or coercing. But let's be honest, most of our assistance, come, assistance comes in the form of money. People mail in a check. That's the easiest way to help and that's what most people do. It's an act of generosity, yes. But is it as, but is it as real and heartfelt? as those people who show up in person. Is mailing in a check really a gift of yourself? With today's feast of commemorating the simple act of Mary and Joseph living out their lives as faithful Jews, doing what God asked of them, and giving him what was most precious to them, their son, Jesus. We are invited to look deep within ourselves, to take a look at our own lives and the choices we make or don't make, and honestly ask, am I giving God everything I can, or am I just giving him a part of what I really could give him? Am I just mailing in a check to God? And brothers and sisters, God is asking us today to give the precious gift of ourselves to Him. Our time, our love and kindness to those around us, 
Our forgiveness, where needed. Our worship, however and often we can, beyond what is required of us. What exactly is it that you're promising to God today?